What up? Day two of practice, Lake Chickamauga. I love this lake. This really does feel kind of like our second home. You know, me and Hunter lived here whenever it was qualifying for the elites. This is literally where we live whenever we did qualify. We're back. I know a decent amount about this lake. Not a ton, and I'm not that good here, but I really like fishing it. I know a couple little places that are a little bit sneakier that, you know, hopefully will help me in the tournament. We got out here on this main lake, flipped one tree, and had two bites on the invader in one tree. So, maybe a little... A little flipping, a little dobbing bite might be going down. We shall see. Would you say that fish are more likely to be somewhere this April 7th than they were last April 7th? Or is it more dependent on weather, water level, and temperature? Water level is the number one dependent. And then after that, I think it's weather, being like wind and all that type of stuff. And then after that, it's water temp, because I don't really believe a ton in water temp. Obviously, there's certain water temps that are like threshold marks, but for the most part, I think number one, water level, number two, weather, number three, water temp. So you don't think that just because they were in this particular place April 7th last year that they're gonna be here April 7th this year? No, and definitely not as many depending on pressure and I mean some of these places they might get in in like November and if nobody really messes with them too much they'll stay there for until April and then some places they get there in November and everybody starts hammering them so they just kind of get conditioned and they move off or they just are there and won't bite so it's not the same ever but they will get in the general places for the most part but yeah and unless the like if the water was full right now and blowing red mud and tons of current yeah they wouldn't be in the same exact spots they're in right now but that's the number one factor that'll make them move is water level and stuff like that spot he's fat but he is not 15 inches so he will not be a keeper in this one i've actually caught a surprising amount of spots today that's probably my fifth or sixth spot of bass. Caught one, one big spot. It's 12 o'clock on a tournament day, in a big tournament, and you have no fish. What goes through your mind to make you say calm and not spinning? Uh, it's not, I don't really have like anything that I think about. I just keep changing, keep moving. You know, stay stay preoccupied in adapting and moving around. But trust me, it's better to not be in that situation. You ain't real calm no matter who you are in that situation. But you just keep making changes. That's the, uh, that's the thing is you just keep trying stuff. Every time you make a big change and go to a new area or something, you get a little burst of confidence saying, this makes sense, this is what's gonna happen. Then after you fish for a few minutes and don't get a bite, you start to lose confidence, you make another change. That's the only way that I have found that you can keep confidence all throughout the day whenever you're not catching them is to make some drastic changes throughout the tournament. Okay. It's beautiful. Here's a little kitty piney. That's the kind. It's not the size. We ain't catching nothing. Ain't seeing nothing, ain't catching nothing. It's April the 4th now. So we are looking for some bedfish, but there's not very many up at all. I'm sure there's some up somewhere. Won't really be a bunch of them up for a couple days. One right there underneath that grass right there. See one bit? Look at that baby turtle. Found a bedding bass. How many? One so far. How big is it? Uh, can't really tell. Will it bite? Probably not. Is it a girl or a boy? It is a boy. Taking my hook off. Just to make sure I don't hook any. I'm gonna be flipping a fair amount in the next couple days, so. Go ahead and take my hook off and put me an invader on there with no hook. And I know I won't hook them. Cause there ain't no hook. Next year, are you gonna 
I don't know, I want to, just because the Elite's is a lot. You fish nine tournaments and hopefully the Classic, that's 10. But there's 52 weeks in a year. So I would like to fish some more tournaments, some more big tournaments that are, you know, take some practice and take some thought process. So I would like to, and I want to. But, we've got to see if the schedule's allowed. Next question. Your dream open tournament, free tournament, and what month would they be? Uh, you follow in March. Let's see. Maybe, I don't know. West Point, first week of June. <laughs> uh, where can we go in the middle of those two? We're somewhere good away. We'll go to Weedowie first week of May. <laughs> what about Chicken August? Chicken August, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That, it'd be, okay, ask me the question again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this has to make it do. Okay, your <laughs> dream open circuit in what month? You file in March. West Point first week of June. And Chickamauga last week of August. Be fun. A little Chickamauga bass. Just not quite big enough. Inch and a half away from being a keeper. Yeah. A better one, though. That might be a keeper. Shall we get the measurements? He ain't gonna matter today. He's close. Maybe a little bit short still. How has it been catching many fish today, but he's caught three back to back. Back to back casts here. Little bitty ones too. On this whole dock. Y'all don't look at the dock too hard. I'm How'd I miss him the first time? He's a meanie. You see how mean he was? That's a kipter. Barely got it. That's a keeper. Not what you want here, but that one will keep. If the question is, is Kyle on the answer? No. We got too many rods out to be on them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So as you can see, with what all is going on in the boat, this is our off day. It don't look like much of an off day, does it? We've took line off of like 20 rods, changed the split rings on crankbaits, it's been raining, I got some rusted stuff for drying, changing hooks, everything. Everything but relaxing today. We're trying to get stuff dialed in. It's Chickamauga, Tennessee River, it's April. Stuff changing extremely fast. There's still pre-spawners, there's some spawners. There's all kind of stuff going on. There's way up the river fish, or spots, small mouth, large mouth, lots of stuff going on. That's why we got so many daggum rods laying everywhere. We're just kind of going through everything, trying to make sure you've got your bases covered for everything you pull up on. From, you know, there's two different rivers all the way down to the dam. There's a thousand different types of banks and current breaks and all kinds of stuff. Brush piles, ledges, bars. You just want to have your bases covered for everything you pull up on. And we probably got a little bit too much rods getting rigged up right now, but it's an off day. We'll just get it out in.